What's going on YouTube? Good morning. It is 10.50 in the morning and today I believe is the 23rd of January and uh, if my voice sounds like this is because I think I'm getting sick. I don't know. Um, like my throat is like all not I want to say not itchy but I don't know it kind of felt like there's like a knot in there like one of those one of those experiences and chest was tight yesterday night took my inhaler but it fixed it. I have something special for you guys in the next video coming up, so just stay tuned. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you guys anything about it until the next video. So I just want to give you guys a heads up, so you guys can be prepared for it. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm having my breakfast. Got to do a couple errands, and then we'll be going to the gym a little bit earlier today. Like I said, I used to go to the gym like around five, five thirty. But actually, let me go outside. Okay, now it's a little too late. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you guys, I don't, I don't understand like. Because the lens that I'm using, it's the, uh, the 18 to 55 kit lens, but this one doesn't have the image stabilizer, ah, the image stabilizer um, or stabilization, whatever you want to say. Like my other 18 to 55 lens did, um, but this one, I don't understand. I gotta, I gotta mess with the settings. Put on doing a uh, show in April, so just stay, you know, stay long for the ride for that. Um, we'll see how that goes. I would like to, you know, kind of get my weight up a little bit. I want to say, you know, maybe maybe touch the 190s, 195s, because right now I'm about 184. And uh, and then, I guess cut back down to 185-ish, 184-ish. And that's and the reason why I'm doing that is just to add more mass, but then, you know, look, look more muscular at a lower weight. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do. So, with that being said, let me go cook up this breakfast, and I'll catch you guys later. First meal of the day, we got five scrambled eggs with some milk, two hash browns, bagel, cream cheese, and three turkey bacons. And I stopped, I completely stopped eating like regular bacon. And I'm like so into turkey bacon now. <laughs> but yeah, first meal of the day. What's going on YouTube fam? Back with another commentary. And I try not to do commentaries like I said in my last video. But, you know, if I have to do them, it is what it is. Anyway, so I started my workout with some more head press. Uh, this is something that I want to get back into doing. I haven't been doing overhead press in, I want to say, maybe three or four months. And I've been really slacking with doing this. Honestly, overhead press is probably one of my favorite, quote-unquote, manly movements. Because, you know, you just look like a badass. Pressing all that weight over your head instead of pressing over your chest. Uh, no offense to the bench, bench to the bench presses out there. But when you're pushing a lot of weight over your head and standing up, it looks more badass in my opinion. But anyway, with that being said... Uh, I believe I've done a 5x5, five five, but on the 4th set, or excuse me, the last set, the 5th set, I've only hit 4 reps on the last set, and that was because my right shoulder was feeling some type of, uh, I don't know, it was, it was, I was getting this type of tension and pain, and, you know, I just decided to, you know, let off and not to, you know, grind out a 5th one, because I could have grinded out, but I didn't want to, you know, because I'm not trying to risk an injury right now, um, I just have, you know, I have a lot of things coming up this year for 2017 that I want to do, and I do not need an injury to slow me down and make me lose. So, and I've only done, I've done overhead press, lateral raises, and I did face pulls, and again, the rep range that I like to do, after I get done with overhead press, I like to have my rep range above eight, you know, eight to failure. And this movement right here, guys, I don't know if anybody has actually tried doing this. This is pretty good. This is, you know, front to back. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, you just press it front, press it back, and you get the best of both worlds. Instead of doing two separate sets, you know, like, instead of just doing front, and then you go on to the back, you can just do them both in one set. So, um, I did three, four sets. I didn't want to record it because the, uh, the gym started getting crowded, and I went over to some lateral raises. And I believe I stuck with 35s and 40 with these. And yeah, just rep, repping them out. You know, I like working them, you know, isolateral, one by one. Sometimes, you know, I, I feel a little uh, contract. I feel the stretch better. And, uh, the, you know, the muscle getting worked a lot better when I work it by itself. Then I went over to face pulls to end the workout. And look at that, guys. Stay tuned for my next videos. I'm going to have an announcement for you guys. I want to try and get a lot of people involved with this next video that I'm going to be making. Uh, so I'm going to need you guys to share this video, like it, and honestly, like, spread it out. I really want to get this big, and 
that being said, enjoy the rest of the footage, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So we had snow last week, right? And okay, my front bumper did not rip off. It didn't. It just took it off. Well, <laughs> all right, listen to this. So it snowed last weekend, and of course, you know, I went out to have some fun. Blah blah blah. And I had a front lip on it, and the next thing you know, it broke off. So, uh, but listen to this. Right when I was taking it to the house to take the front bumper off, the lip decides to rip off. Like honestly, five miles from my house. And I was pretty pissed, but whatever, it's only a seventy hundred dollar lip. <clears throat> Excuse me, and this happened. Uh it is a I believe this is fiberglass fender. And my side skirt was pushed out. It was like honestly like it was so wedged out from the snow that it was it was really stupid looking. But yeah, so right now the car it's still working, of course. Uh, I just gotta put a serpentine belt. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, I gotta put the serpentine belt and my serpentine belt broke while I was driving uh, maybe two, three days ago. And I could have, you know, it's an easy install. I could have done it yesterday, but I was extremely lazy and tired. So, but yeah.